One challenge to keeping colonians in Alaska is providing them with adequate UV rays to create vitamin D3, which allows them to process calcium. During most of the year, they receive D3 from a combination of artificial lighting and direct supplementation from their powders added to their food. Although supplementation is important for their bone growth, shell formation, and general health, nothing beats the health benefits of actual sunlight. Thankfully, Alaskan summers have sunlight in abundance. In order to take advantage of the rare tortoise-approved weather, I use a couple of raised garden planters to construct temporary enclosures so that my tortoises can enjoy the plentiful sun. Setting up these mini tortoise corrals takes only a few minutes, yet provides unmeasurable benefits to all of my little guys and gals. When it's warm enough out, it's quite fun to cook up a few hamburgers and hot dogs and bring the tortoises out to enjoy the environment as well. When the temperatures hit the high 60s, our perceived temperatures are much like a person in the lower 48 states experience a day in the upper 80s. Add a few more degrees with direct sunlight and no wind, and we have one of those few magical days that I can bring my tortoises and turtles outside to soak in the sunbeams. And after a few hours, it's time to put the little shelled ones away and disassemble their corrals. Most years, we will have a string of days nice enough that a temporary outdoor enclosure will be possible. However, as you'll see in the next few photos, we have factors that would make this unwise. In our front yard, there is a large pine tree with a little rock cluster that Sauron is exploring in these photos. Notice the large windows on my house in the background. This photo was taken from that window. That is indeed a mid-sized black bear. Even if I were to put wiring on a temporary enclosure as a lid of some sort to keep eagles and hawks out, this bear would quickly penetrate that and swiftly make off with one or more of my tortoises. <laughs> 